So this is an R2R ladder circuit, uh, which also works as a digital to analog converter. So as you can see the resistor configuration, it seems, looks a lot like a ladder. And um, right now I'm loading the program into the microcontroller, so I'm inputting in the bits into the digital pins. And as you can see, it outputs an analog voltage every single time. So it's outputting the same thing because the bits are all one at first, but if you change it, it'll output something different every single time. So the materials I used are an Arduino Uno board, a breadboard to connect the circuit components, jumper wires, resistors, R and 2R, and a USB cable. So this is our R2R ladder circuit, as you can see, shaped as a ladder. So we have our 2R connected to ground and the other 2R is connected in parallel, which represent our digital pins, where our digital pins will be connected to, and that's where we're going to be receiving the bits. And we have our R's horizontally represented in the side, and our V out finally being in the end, which represents our analog output voltage. So this is the whole, like, I guess, anatomy of the circuit and how the circuit is represented to be a digital to analog converter, which is just insane and amazing. So yeah, we're going to be building this now. So this is our breadboard. And so we're going to be building this circuit, which I'm really excited about. So first off, the 2R, as you can see to the left, is connected to ground. So I'm going to do that first. So the red power line you can see in the the red power line that is on the breadboard, it represents the ground. So I'm going to connect the 2R to ground and I'm going to place it at, on, at that angle. And then I'm going to connect the other 2Rs in parallel. And I'm going to connect the Rs horizontally, as you can see on the circuit diagram, because that's how it looks. At, like, it kind of looks like a ladder, right? So I'm going to place it just like how it looks like on our circuit diagram. And then I'm going to connect the digital inputs to, from the microcontroller to our circuit. And those digital inputs inputs come from those 2R resistors, remember from our diagram? So I'm going to connect those properly and these represent our high low digital pins, right? Then I'm going to connect the analog voltage pins to our analog voltage output. And that is our finished product. And so I then programmed the microcontroller, I'm kind of new to Arduino programming, but I changed the bit inputs to like ones and zeros and I checked the analog voltages and it was an analog like continuous form voltage and I got 4.68 ish which um, is pretty accurate when I input it all once so yeah I hope you have fun with it and thank you